Presenting highlights of the annual Next Gen Under 30 ceremonies held on November 15th, 2019. The Oklahoma History Center is an 18-acre, 215,000 square foot learning center exploring Oklahoma's unique history of geology, transportation, commerce, culture, aviation heritage, and more. Welcome to the program. I'm Matt Pinnell, the Lieutenant Governor of Oklahoma. As your Lieutenant Governor, I get to meet people across our state every day who are compassionate, courageous, and creative. Most of all, I meet people who want more for Oklahoma and Oklahomans. We want a better quality of life for everyone, better schools, a better economy, a cleaner environment. At the beginning of Governor Kevin Stitt's term, he asked me to lead a project to rebrand Oklahoma's image as the Secretary of Branding. Over 150 Oklahoma marketing experts stepped up to volunteer their time and expertise to develop a long lasting brand that represents the authenticity of our state's diversity in culture, business, people, and our geography. This innovative approach of assembling a large number of Oklahoma marketing volunteers to brand an entire state is the first in the nation. It's by Oklahomans for Oklahoma. My biggest takeaway from that experience has been rediscovering the stories of amazing Oklahomans who have made a, a real difference in our nation because of their talent, courage, and sacrifice. This discovery really led the volunteer Oklahomans to develop the brand theme, Imagine That. You'll hear more Imagine That stories about Oklahoma in this program that begins with a presentation at the 2019 Next Gen Award Ceremony. That recognized 338 young professional Oklahomans who are making a real difference. So thank you to Griffin Communications, News 9, and News 6 for broadcasting this program. The real brand of Oklahoma is its people, people just like you. So I hope you enjoy learning from more about Oklahoma and Oklahomans through this program. We're very fortunate to be able to celebrate our young people in this beautiful setting and glad you could be with us. Our next speaker has a career of being in the center of the action with a 30-year career practicing strategic communications at the highest political levels in Washington, D.C. and the Foreign Service, as well as with Fortune 500 companies and national associations. Brenda Jones Barwick served in the White House West Wing and U.S. State Department for Presidents Ronald Reagan and George Herbert Walker Bush. She founded Jones PR in 2001. It's grown into a leading integrated communications and public affairs agency with a national reputation. Jones PR was named 2019 Agency of the Year by the Oklahoma City Chapter of the Public Relations Society of America. And now Brenda is with the Blue Sky State Rebranding Project as a committee leader. Brenda has been a staunch supporter of the Next Gen Under 30 Project since it began in 2011. And now it's my pleasure to present Brenda Jones Barwick. Well, I hope after in the next 10 minutes you'll be even more excited about Oklahoma. You know, at the very beginning of our Great State Song, it opens with these words, brand new state, going to treat you great. Well, although we're not a brand new state, it is time for our state to get a new brand. And why in the world does a state need to rebrand itself? Well, truthfully, we need to change how people and businesses think about Oklahoma. We must inspire more tourists, businesses, more talent, and investors to experience all that is in Oklahoma. So to answer the question, why in the world does a state need to rebrand, it's because a strong, authentic brand opens opportunities to the world. A brand tells stories through the power of words, images, and deeds. And Oklahoma has a lot of powerful stories. 
In Oklahoma brand is so important that Governor Kevin Stitt has named Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell to his cabinet as Secretary of Tourism and Branding to lead this remarkable project called Project Blue Sky. I don't know any other state that has a branding secretary, but Oklahoma has the first. And before sharing more information about Project Blue Sky, I want to recognize three visionaries who are here with us tonight, who launched an initiative to celebrate Oklahoma that helped brand the state. During the 2000s, former Governor Frank Keating enlisted Blake Wade and Lee Allen Smith to lead the Oklahoma Centennial that included over 1,000 projects and events nationwide and in all 77 counties. And many of these projects brought national and international focus to Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Centennial Celebration began by completing the Oklahoma State Capitol with the dome after it sat with a flat roof for 85 years. Finally, Oklahoma finished the state capitol as originally designed in 1917. In 2007, Oklahoma launched the centennial year as the first state to ever make an appearance in the Tournament of Roses Parade on New Year's Day in Pasadena with two floats. And we performed the parade's opening show with our own Kristen Chenoweth and with high school band students from all across the state that made up the Oklahoma Centennial Band. No other state, not even California, had ever had a float in the Rose Parade, much less performed the opening show of the Rose Parade on national television. Then for two consecutive years, Oklahoma appeared in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York with a fabulous float filled with many of Oklahoma's celebrities that was broadcast on national television, reaching millions and millions of Americans. Then the Oklahoma brand traveled all across the country competing in NASCAR races and was seen by millions on racetracks and highways. The Oklahoma Centennial race car was driven by a young aspiring driver named Brad Keselowski, who was trying to break into the big league and now he's a champion NASCAR driver. So those were exciting years for Oklahoma and for the Oklahoma brand. But today, Oklahoma needs a sustainable brand that extends beyond a single historical moment in time. So Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell is taking on an innovative approach to brand Oklahoma that has never been done by any other state. He has assembled over 150 Oklahomans who are urban and rural who are experts in marketing, advertising, public relations, creativity, and photography. And this consortium of Oklahoma marketing experts are all volunteering their time to develop an authentic brand by Oklahomans for Oklahoma. And no other state has ever attempted this model to create a brand. But that's what we do in Oklahoma. We pioneer our own path. And there is a lot to package into, to an Oklahoma brand. And I'm gonna list some of things about Oklahoma. And just remember that we're a small, mighty state. We have 12 ecosystems. We have the most diverse terrain. There's only four states that have more than 10 ecosystems, and we have 12. We have more fish species than any other state. We have more shoreline than the East and Gulf Coast combined. We have more astronauts per capita of any state. And we have more Miss America, six. New York and California only have six. We're right up there at the top. Did you watch the Country Music Awards? I mean, that stage was dominated by Oklahomans. And then in the rock and pop music, Flaming Lips, Leon Russell, and then in Christian music, we have Mercy Me. They made a movie, I can only imagine about this group. Leona Mitchell, a Grammy Award winner who was the lead soprano for 18 years at New York's Metropolitan Opera. And then the Five Moons. Those are five Native American ballerinas who transformed ballet worldwide. And then Jimmy Webb, I mean, he is the most prolific songwriter and he's the only American to win Grammy Awards for music, lyrics, and orchestration. These are all Oklahomans. 
And then the acting world, you've got Kristen Chenoweth, Ron Howard, James Garner, Ed Harris, Brad Pitt, James Marsden, Alfred Woodard, Kelly O'Hara, and Gray Fredrickson, who produced Godfather II. And in the business world, I mean, we have so many visionaries. We have T. Boone Pickens, we have pioneer woman Reed Drummond, Sam Walton, Wiley Post invented the pressure suit that is now known as the astronaut suit. Dr. Phil transformed daytime TV to a mental health forum. <laughs> and in sports, Jim Thorpe, he is still considered the greatest athlete. Yes. <laughs> Mickey Mantle, the best switch hitter in baseball, and we're one of the top four states with the most Heisman Trophy winners. We have eight. OSU and OU. Barry Switzer, three NCAA national championships and a Super Bowl ring. Bart Connor, the first American gymnast to medal in every national and international competition. Nadia Comaneci, the first gymnast to be awarded a perfect 10 in the Olympics. And of course, Shannon Miller, the most decorated American gymnast, male or female. And then when it comes to journalists and authors, Paul Harvey and Walter Cronkite, he began his career in radio in Oklahoma. And then politics, Carl Albert, Speaker of the House. He was only five feet, four inches, and he was known as the little giant from Little Dixie. And then of course, our favorite son, Wilt Rogers, he's in a category all to himself. All these Oklahomans I mentioned and, our, and our, the state's achievements is just the tip of the iceberg. We'd be here all night if I went through the whole list. There, there are so many Oklahomans who have changed the world. But the important point is this. These are the shoulders that you are standing on. And when someone stands here in 10 or 20 years, guess what? Some of your names will be on this list of amazing Oklahomans who have changed the world. So when the governor and the lieutenant governor announce a new brand for Oklahoma, you will have many opportunities to become ambassadors of the new brand. And just for a couple of ideas, wherever you work or volunteer, you'll be able to express the new brand through your company or a nonprofit through the website, social media, creative assets. And second, incorporate the new brand as your Facebook profile frame. So when the brand is revealed by Governor Stent and Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell, I encourage each of you to think about how can I express Oklahoma through my circles of influence? Each of you is an influencer or you would not be here tonight being recognized for your achievements this early in your careers. So be ready for an exciting year with the new Oklahoma brand. You are the Oklahoma brand. It is time for us to tell the Oklahoma story. That is branding. Thank you. Our next guest speaker is Kenny Reinbold. Kenny works in the marketing department at Express Employment Professionals International Headquarters in Oklahoma City. He's a top 20 under 40 award winner from the Edmund Business Times, was named board member of the year by the Children's Hospital Foundation of Oklahoma, and was a winner of the Next Gen Under 30 Award in 2016. Please welcome Kenny Reinbold. Thank you, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. Thank you to Don Swift and the Next Gen organization. Uh, this is a special night, and congratulations to all the winners. This is such an accomplishment. I'm proud to be able to represent Express Employment Professionals, and professionals in our international headquarters in Oklahoma City and more than 250 employees that work there. Two years ago tonight, I was sitting where you are, convincing myself that I did, in fact, know how to put one foot in front of the other and walk across the stage. Uh, but eight years ago, I was in a very different seat. I had graduated from the University of Central Oklahoma. I was engaged 
and I was two years into my first job out of college. I was working for a company in Oklahoma City, the marketing department, doing community outreach, and getting to spend time in neighborhoods and communities across the state that are severely underserved. And I really enjoyed the job, but I'm not sure if any of you remember what happened around this time. The Great Recession was starting to impact Oklahoma, and as is so often the case in an economic downturn, the marketing department is the first budget cut. So on a Friday morning, my boss called me into her office and let me know that my position, along with 10 others, was let go. It was devastating. I was, I didn't know what was, what was going to happen. I had student loans that needed to be paid. I was less than a year from getting married, and I had no idea what the future looked like. Months later, I was offered a job at Express, and I've been there ever since, but when I think about that time, I remember the anxiety and the angst that I felt. There was uncertainty about what the future was going to hold, what that was going to look like. But I also look back at that season of my life with fondness, because I know that if I hadn't gone through that, that I, if I hadn't lost a job that I liked, that I would not have ended up in a job that I absolutely love. As bad as that Friday in my boss's office was, and it was really, really tough, it led me to being a part of a company that is providing hope to thousands of people every day, every day by helping them find a job. But for us here tonight, our hope for the future of Oklahoma is not unseen. It's in this room. You, Next Gen Winners, you are the hope for our state. You are the small business owners making up the backbone of our economy, the teachers educating and caring for kids who are looking for hope, the artists, performers, and designers who challenge and inspire us. You're the marketers, the financial experts, the engineers, the policy officials, and scientists who are going to move our state forward. Now, I know I look like I'm 17, but I promise I'm not, and I think I have a couple pieces of advice from my uh, time on earth to, to help you continue the successful careers you've obviously already begun. First, I think it's important to be intentional about spending time with people who are unlike yourself. Get outside your circle of friends and get to know people who look different, who speak different, who come from different backgrounds, life experiences, who have different passions, political views. It will be uncomfortable at times. You're going to say the wrong thing, you're going to get frustrated, but that's okay. Show grace and be humble because that is all a part of a learning process. Because when you sit across from someone and have a genuine conversation, you fulfill that belief that when people from different cultures and life experiences work together, we can't help but change our future for the better. Next, I want you to take risks. You may not feel like it, but you and I, we are very, very young. Now is the time to try things that have never been done before. I truly believe that the greatest enemy to greatness in our life is the temptation to stay comfortable. If we don't challenge ourselves, if we don't stretch our capacity and push ourselves to take risks, we can't help but stop growing. We can't reach our full potential as leaders in our communities if we don't believe that there are times when we need to try something that has never been done before. Taking chances and challenging the status quo also means we're going to have to ask tough questions. We can't expect that leading our state into the next generation of success and opportunity is going to come without those difficult conversations. But again, that's okay. My genuine hope for you is that you understand how important you are to our state. You, your work, your passion, who you are at your core, you help Oklahomans believe that things can and will be better. 30 under 30 winners, you are the wishes, prayers, and dreams of your families fulfilled. We are so, so proud of you. We are so thankful that you call Oklahoma home. Congratulations again.
evening. My name is Zonley Lumen, and uh, I'd just like to first uh, start out by saying thank you. Thank you, God, and thank you to my parents, because I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for, sim for, for them. Uh, next, I'd like to say congratulations to all the winners, all the families um, that came tonight, because tonight we're all winners, and it's really awesome. So uh, let's give each other a round of applause. So my name is Zonley Lumen. I have an art gallery in downtown Edmond called Studio Z. Over the course of the last few years, I've really been able to find my passion in helping our community through creating art. Um, the reason I paint the buffalo is because in my culture, the buffalo is a very sacred animal, uh, bringing new life and abundance. But it's also a warning to reflect on prayer and to re reflect on what we have and be grateful for that. So tonight, I want to do something. It's a little bit different, but it's going to involve everybody. So um, it's a little exercise, but I'm going to need you. I'm going to need teamwork on this one because we only get there with teamwork. So I'm going to say buffalo, and I want you all to say blessing, okay? Buffalo. Blessing. Okay, let's do it again. Buffalo. Blessing. Buffalo. Blessing. All right. Now I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, you have a buffalo. It's funny, I know. Okay, now turn to somebody else and say, you have a buffalo too. All right, now this one's crazy, but I need you to raise your hand and say, I have a buffalo. And it's true. We all have a blessing. We all have a calling and a gift in life. Sometimes it's hard to see it. Sometimes it's right in front of you and you still can't see it. Meditate on it. Pray on it and you'll find it. And when you find it, and you can use your gift and your blessing to protect and serve and help, you will find your calling in life. So I'd just like to say thank you for having me here, and let's have a good night. As you're seeing throughout this program, Oklahoma has a rich heritage encompassing the most successful individuals working together as a team for the greater good of our state. Each contributor to our team possesses special unique traits that always bring a positive and friendly attitude to light. We're good at building authentic relationships while being generous with our time and knowledge. Let's take a brief look back at some of the most outstanding Oklahoma legends, past and present, who are continuing to make a difference in our lives. They make all of us proud.
do know that the Oklahoma people are more productive than many other states in this nation. We do know that they do have values. And we do know that they care about one another. Leaders can only reach their potential when in life they help someone else to reach theirs. Next generation, next gen under 30 gives you a unique opportunity to touch many lives with your life, to change many lives with your life. That is leadership that lasts. It is a legacy that will endure. I think all of us believe, Governor, that we are in great hands in terms of the future of our state with this young leadership. So proud of you to celebrate tonight what you've achieved. We just hope to see you in the future in public life and in private life, advancing the interests of our glorious, wonderful state. Our time is now to be ethical, accountable, and daring leaders. Leaders are people who take us places we cannot go by ourselves. Join us for Next Gen Learns, a one-day live virtual conference streaming online and engaging with you on July 24th, 2020. Find out more and register now online at nextgenlearns.com. Production made possible by Express Employment Professionals, SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital, Jones PR, First Liberty Bank, The Chickasaw Nation, Hobby Lobby, Keep Oklahoma Beautiful, The Cherokee Nation, Arvis Bank, and by The Choctaw Nation.